Good morning. Today is a beautiful day. Obviously, it's not good morning. I mean, good morning like in the video game. You know, just come on, play along here, okay? Please don't make me feel stupid. So I was really surprised at the amount of support and love you showed the first episode. I know this is a very popular game. I, I just didn't think five years later or six years later that making videos on this game would still just do so well i will admit i'm a little lost still i don't really know exactly what i'm supposed to do now it's just survive and i guess that's the beauty of this game we'll learn as we go and um i think i'm here for it i i am just so excited to continue our adventure of basic survival hopefully one day become an expert uh but yeah i'm i'm super pumped as always my name is hollow and welcome back to stranded deep so today marks the 22nd of november it is 8 30 in the morning the uv rays are high so obviously we're gonna have to be careful with the sun here i mean when aren't the uv rays high it's it's a damn island we're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> so this is what i want to do i want to venture off into new islands this is what i've been wanting to do since literally the first day that i landed here which was was actually yesterday when i landed here what i want to do before we do anything First, I want to set up a smoker because today is the day where we go spear fishing. Okay, we're going to make a spear, we're going to make a smoker, and we're going to start cooking multiple amounts of fish. And hopefully, drink more water, survive, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, get that much closer to finally leaving this island. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and this is probably something I should have done a long time ago, or on the last episode, and I didn't do it just because I was kind of scared of the sun, but... uh we're going to do it on this episode, and that is pretty much leave all of my resources here. I've got my blade and my axe. Okay, so we're good. So right now, what we need to do is I'm going to go to the shade just in case of the UV rays. I'm going to go to this, uh, go to the shade here, and we're going to take a look at our... Okay, we need to drink a little bit more water. Okay, so we'll drink some water, see where our hydration is at. And I think we're good for now. So what I want to do now is craft a smoker. We're going to go down to the crafting menu... And we're going to pin a smoker. We need a lashing, three sticks, and a fire pit. And if we go over to the fire pit, for a fire pit, we need uh, three stones and a fire. So we're going to gather some sticks now. That's the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to start gathering sticks here. And obviously, before we leave this island, I'm going to try and uh, just pretty much gather all the resources that this island's got to offer. And then we'll leave because I don't want to leave an island with it still full of resources, if that makes sense. Because I don't think we'll ever come back to this island, if I'm being honest. I, I don't think this island offers much. I think this is just an island where you come your first time and kind of learn the basics and then you start venturing off. So once we're out of here, I don't think there's there's any coming back, boys. So we're going to chop down this palm tree. Um, I'm going to do it for two reasons. I'm going to cut down the log, get some more wood, and I'm also going to get the palm fronds. And I'm going to put it under the water still. And we're also going to get coconuts. So I'm going to chop down this palm, take it to the water still, let it do its thing. So we're always, always hydrated. Okay. So we're going to chop this down real quick. And bada bing, bada boom. Voila. It's like magic. We got to be careful too because we know the axe also has a durability and it will break on us. So I don't want to really use it much. I wanted to use the uh, refined knife more just because less resources and faster to make but in reality the you know this axe is not that hard to make anyways all right so now we got more sticks at the fiber again my raft location is going to be the location where we stash all of our goods so then when we head out everything's already here we don't have to kind of like go around scavenging for where we left everything so i'm gonna leave the sticks right here uh yep leave them all here and how much do I have left? I've got uh, two left. I'm actually going to pick some of these up. Just so I can make myself a... I think I'm going to make this... Uh... Should I put the smoker over here? I think I should put the smoker next to the water still. Right? Yeah, just so everything's kind of like together. So here we go. We've got a, uh, we've got a fire. Or actually... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to make this separate from my actual fire. So we're going to make another fire here. I'm going to put it right here. And then now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a fire pit. We need stones. So I'm going to go back to my stash. I'm going to pick up some stones. And with these stones, we're going to make the fire pit. I think I may need more. I think it's three of them, actually. Or rocks, not stones. I mean, same thing, I guess. All right. So right now, 
Let's see. Let's see if we have enough. If not, we'll just gather more. Where's my water still? Is that a stick? Yep. Pick up that stick. Don't mind if I do. And we will make a fire pit. Do we not have enough? Hey, where are my resources? Oh, I need one more stone. Luckily for us, the stones are really not that hard to find. You'd be surprised. I would have thought that uh, being in an island, you'd probably find no stones, but or at least little ones. Like normally the big ones are obviously, they're gonna be there like this, but the fact that there's so many little rocks, it's actually quite surprising. All right, so we've got that now. I think we're able to make a fire pit. Now we just need, oh man, I think I made that wrong. Ooh. Oh no, here we go. Oh, that's cool. So if you hold the crafting, Oh, you can quick craft. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now that we've got this, we've got to go ahead and make the smoker. So all we need now is three stick and a lashing. So let's go to the lashing. These are things I'm going to have to start remembering. And we need four fibrous leaves. So I remember that we had a couple here. I don't know exactly. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, we're doing good. I think we had like two and we dropped them around here. They're right there. So... Fibrous leaves. Okay, so we actually have two. We'll have our smoker up. And we will be going spear fishing, boys. And to make a spear is really not that difficult. I think you just do it with a stick. Um, so not too worried about that. The only thing I'm worried about is actually, oh, look at this. I'm gonna take this back to my resource department. Thank you very much. The only thing I'm worried about is finding more fibrous leaves. These things are extremely rare. And obviously they come from a yucca plant. So, ooh, wait, is this one right here? <gasps> yes! Where is it? Did I pick it up? I didn't pick it up. Uh, hello? Dude, what the hell? Hello, where's the freaking leaf? Okay, so that's lost. Okay, that, what a bummer. I don't like how they put those things next to the bushes and then like you break them and you can't really get them. It's actually quite irritating. Anyways, let's just pray to God that we can find another one of those. Look, one right here. Okay, we picked that up. When we start... Ooh, we found another one. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so we've got the four fibrous leaves that we needed. Now we can make a lashing. I'm going to go down to the shade here. I don't want to suffer from heat stroke. When we head to our island and we pretty much become settled, and we settle down in our new island, we'll start a farming uh, techniques and whatnot, and we'll take the yucca plants and start making those trees just so we can always have fibrous leaves so now that we're here let's see what else we've got uh we've got uh all we need is three sticks we don't have three sticks no we don't have sticks with we got two all we need is one more that actually shouldn't be a problem so chop this down get the sticks thank you very much oh <gasps> oh my god yes Yes, yes, yes. We've got a smoker, ladies and gentlemen. And now what the smoker does is it allows us to put meat there. So, and I think the food actually lasts longer. Okay, we need to cool down. Are we suffering from some sort of heat stroke or something? Bada beam, bada boom. Okay, so now are we still suffering from heat stroke? Please tell me no. Okay, we're not. I think we're good. Now we're going to go and... Uh, We've got the stick. Now we got to see how we make this spear. I've never made a spear before. I just know it's quite simple. Um, we're going to go to the spear here. Crafting, crafting spear. And let's see if we can do it with a quick craft. Yes, we can. The crude spear, stone tool, kindling, crude fishing spear. What is that? Okay, we've got a spear. Oh my god, we actually got a freaking spear. A crude hunting tool with poor durability, useful for hunting. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. Welcome to Spear Fishing 101. This is gonna be our first attempt at fear, uh, fear, fear fishing. Spear fishing. Sardine. Okay, we're actually terrible at this. Okay, this is actually embarrassing. I'm being outsmarted by a sardine. God darn it. Okay, why can't I freaking fish? Just cool down a little bit. I don't want to go too deep into the lurky waters of the shark land. I'm actually quite scared. 2,000 years later. Oh! 
Is that how you do it? That can't be how you do it. There's no freaking way that's how you do it. Why am I skidding <laughs> sardine underwater? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm so bad at this. Okay. So, actually, we're a little thirsty. I'm going to go back over here. Please don't mind me in my uh, spear fishing <laughs> abilities. I am so terrible. Okay. I'm going to drink some water. Hold on, where's my small fish? Okay, it's cooking, right? Yes, it's cooking. All right, so while that's doing its thing, we're gonna try and fish again. It's actually getting quite dark here. And, um... Oh, what the freaking... What happened? No! Please tell me I'm not poisoned. Oh, I just got bit by something. Oh, oh my God, thank God. Oh, we got a crab? Hey, we got a crab. Okay. Oh, this is good, right? So how do you... Okay, you can just collect it from the spear. That is actually quite awesome. How am I not able to fish this freaking sardine? All right, I got it. I guess that's the only way I can freaking... Okay. Unfortunately for me, I feel like this is the only way <laughs> that I can spearfish. I am so bad at spearfishing. Okay. Um, well, that was terrible. I'll be honest. That was that was that was really terrible. I was expecting something a bit more adventurous um, and more successful, but yeah, that just that just really went really bad. Anyways, uh, at least I got a couple sardines. I think I'm gonna drop them right here. How much do I have? Do I only have one? Did I really just only get one sardine and a crab? Dude, that is embarrassing. Oh my god. I literally spent like five minutes trying to spearfish. And all I got was a sardine and a, <laughs> and a crab. So how do you... I guess this is where I ask you, how do you spearfish? Like, do you have to throw the spear at them? Or can just by clicking it, do you spearfish? Because I was able to get the crab just by clicking the left mouse button. But I wasn't able to get the sardines. And this is the cooked one, right? Yeah, I think I've got the cooked one in hand right now. This is a cooked. Let me see my essentials. We're actually a little hungry. So... I'll leave it there in the smoker. Um, how about how are we doing in water? Okay, we're not super dehydrated. So what I'm going to do is, I think... I think I'm going to sleep. All right, guys. Good morning. The sun is rising, and I had nightmares about the three fish that I was able to catch in a matter of 25 minutes. That was actually quite terrible. I should have put out my smoker, um, but I didn't because this is a learning process. So we've got uh, three cooked meats. Are they all cooked? Let's check that out. Smoked, smoked. Only two here and one in hand. Okay, how are we doing in food? We need some food. So we're going to eat that. And nice. Okay, so now we've got a little bit more. I'm going to chop down this tree. And I'm going to try and redo that spear fishing process. And we're also going to see if we can finally go into that mini shipwreck that we have around this island. Which I think it should have some resources. I was reading that they do have some good resources. Now, I don't consider that exactly an actual shipwreck. Because it's literally right in front of us. Eventually, I do feel like we'll venture off into underwater ships and go into those crazy underwater shipwrecks. But right now, it's as best as it's going to get. So we've got our... Let's see. We're going to put some fiber down here. So we keep the water going. And then we've got also fire over here. I don't think I need to do anything with that just yet. We're going to go to our raft. I'm kind of glad the raft is here because wh wherever the sun rises, that's where my raft is always going to be. It's kind of easy to tell. So I'm going to leave this here. Okay. And we are going to go ahead and try spear fishing again. So, okay, that's the only way I can catch the fish. See, I can't. When I do this, I wonder if I have like the wrong spear. At least for the fish. The only thing is, it just doesn't make sense to me because 
I was able to do it with the crab. So the fact that I can't do it with the sardine fish makes no sense. Okay. Maybe this is the way we got to do it. Physical. We've leveled up physically. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Because honestly, I think I'm the worst spear fisher in all of the land. And we've got a crab. When it comes to crabs, I am actually a genius. There is no way this is not catching the freaking fish. Okay. See, now we're doing better, though. I, I will say, well, we are getting better at this. I wonder if that other spear is better for fishing the sardines. I'm going to go over here. Get more sardines. Yes. I caught it. Did I? And... Oh, yeah. Nope. I am getting outsmarted by sardine fish. Okay. It's dead. Good. I'm a monster underwater. Do not mess with me, Mr. Sardine. Okay. One more. Oh, oh God, I missed. Day survived. Two days survived. How have I managed to survive two days? This, this is insane. With these fishing abilities, <laughs> no man should be able to survive. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, we got another crab. Thank you. This is going to be good meat. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yes. Now we've got six sardines. And I'm going to put all of them to cook in my handy dandy smoker. Thank you very much. This is actually really exciting, bro. Like learning, just learning all of this is really cool. Perfect. Oh my God. That's a lot. Now can we skin all of them? Okay. Oh, gross. Hey, can I just do all of them at once or do I have to do one by one? Oh my God. Okay, I guess this is the way to do it. I thought that if you group them together, you could just do them all at once. That would have been a lot easier. Okay, now we're gonna drop the crabs. We got four crabs. <laughs> oh my God. We are totally, totally made. We're gonna skin the crabs. I wonder if the crabs give you more food than the sardine. Hold to attach. Oh, we can only put three. Four. Five. So you can put five meats in the smoker. Let there be lights. And I'm going to go and chop down more, more woods real quick. I feel like we need more wood. The only thing that I'm wondering is, when does the food rot? Is it like before you cook it or after the, the animal is killed? So we're going to head back to our raft. We're gonna drop everything that we don't need here. Okay, and uh, we've got, uh, I'm actually gonna put the scraps right here. Right there, I could've sworn there was more scraps. We're also gonna drop the coconuts. Right there, perfect. We've got a stranded coconut over here. We're gonna drop this one with its little group right there. And right now we've got, uh, I wonder if I leave this here. Let me see. Um, God darn it. We have too many things, I feel. Check my vitals. I'm actually thirsty. I'm going to drink some water before we head. I need to find water. Perfect. Not anymore. Nice. Oh, this is great. How do I know what's cooked and what's not? Okay. Good. So this is everything that's cooked. So we'll eat this. We're going to eat this. <gasps> I just ate a raw fucking piece of fish. Oh my God. The SPF. What is SPF? Okay. All right. So apparently we just freaking vomited because we ate a raw piece of fish. So I'm looking at my watch and our SPF is going back up. And I think it was due to the heat. Um, and then we're slightly getting very, very thirsty due to the SPF being so low. So we've kind of got to keep an eye out for that. Now, 
we kind of need we kind of need water so i'm gonna have to go and possibly chop down this palm tree here god darn it see this game it feels like you want to go ahead and do something else but then another problem occurs i know i've got palm trees or palm fronds by the uh raft but i don't even want to mess with the heat right now so i'm just gonna bring it here and gonna pour them here at the fiber right here and there we go okay so our water is going down we're getting dehydrated our spf is going up which is good and um i think i'm gonna just for safety measures i'm gonna go ahead and let's see i'm gonna get this coconut right here we have another one right here I'm gonna get the coconut. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna get my axe. I'm gonna chop it down. I'm gonna drink the water. Coconut water. That probably helped us a little bit, right? Okay, now I'm going to drop the coconut. And with my axe, I'm gonna chop it down. And I think this should help us with the food. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay, that slightly helped us. All right. So I'm gonna go to my water still, and I. Uh, it doesn't have water yet. Crap. All right, guys. We're still a little thirsty, unfortunately. So guys, it's actually getting dark. It's 18:11. Um, we've got our fire here, our smoker. We're not hungry. We're slightly thirsty. I'm gonna extinguish the fire wonder what happens if you extinguish the fire and you go to sleep. What happens to my meat? Let's, I guess, let's find out. I'm going to save before anything happens. Okay, and now we're going to go to sleep. There we go. Oh, that was a good nap. Okay, here we go. We've got the smoked meat there. We're slightly hungry. Uh, this is smoked as well. We'll eat this. Hopefully that's not rotten. We're going to get this meat right here. And uh, we're going to eat it as well. So now we're fully, fully full on food. There's no water. How is the water still empty? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't produce water. Okay. Well, that's fine. So when you sleep, I don't think the water still produces water. So as the new day approaches... I, I know I said I wanted to go to the shipwreck, and I, I really do, but I feel like we've done so much in this episode, or at least it feels like I've done so much, that I don't want to overdo it, and I want these episodes to last, and I don't want them to be too long either, so the first thing that we're going to do on the next episode, as soon as we start, we're going to go into the shipwreck, and then after the shipwreck, we're going to venture off into a new island, and finally get out of here. That is the first thing that we're going to do on episode three. So with that said, we're going to end it here. A brand new day, a brand new beginning, which will be beginning on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. This is this is a whole lot of fun, man. It really is. And I really hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Of course, if you guys are enjoying these episodes, a like would be really appreciated. Thank you so much again for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.